Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. We are continuing on with subscribers week. We are almost to the end. We are on the second day to the end of subscribers week. Who is coming in here today? That is Finn. Finn's paw is peeking out. Here he comes. There, there he is. About to jump up on the bed. That little munchkin. Anyways, we are on the second day to last of Subscribers Week. If you are new here and you don't know what Subscribers Week is, it is where I pick a viewer or subscriber of mine from the comment section who requested two songs from one artist to do that video. So today is a very special day. Every so often I love to call my dad up because he is the reason I love this music. I got my love for rock and roll from him. He is the rock and roll fanatic in my family. And I remember being a little girl, hearing it from him, and then being a little bit older and sharing that time with him, listening to the likes of Leonard Skinner and Aerosmith. So coming to now, doing reactions to songs I haven't heard of in the music that I love, I like to call him up and ask him, hey, dad, what songs or artists should I do next? And he has come up with some good ones so far, according to you guys, and I have to agree. Well, if you guys have already read the title, you know what we're doing today. He has requested me to do Rainbow and Dio, which Ronnie James Dio is the lead singer of Rainbow, so, which actually comes full circle with being a Def Leppard fan because the song we are doing for the band Dio, the guitar player is Vivian Campbell. So what songs are we doing today on the rainbow side? Since You've Been Gone and Dio, Rainbow in the Dark. I say we just jump straight into it. Enough talking. Let's jump into the music. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications of when I upload. And let's check out the music my dad picked today. Since You've Been Gone. As always, I'm going to tell you what I think this song is about, and I feel like it's just about losing that person you love and going insane over it, having a, that heartache about it, and just really, truly missing that person. That's what I think this song is about. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Now, this song was... Oh, so great it was so good it was catchy it had that old rock sound that early 80s oh, I love that a time when music was everything you know 70s and the 80s pure magic during those times and that is in this song that magic that beauty there's just something about it that's just so it's hard to explain you just feel it it's classic timeless relevant people are always going to feel this way so it's going to be timeless people are always going to relate to the song I loved the guitar how it was quite hard throughout the song and then this small solo kicked in and it was nice and soft there was a key change halfway through the song the, it just the arrangement was perfect everything about this song was on point i loved it let's move over to dio rainbow in the dark rainbow in the dark again i'm gonna tell you what i think this song is about and it i believe is about depression and isolation and being trapped. I feel like looking at these lyrics, it describes all of those things. I think it is just a song speaking on 
mental health and it's remarkable and the way he did it well we'll get to that in just a minute but that's my thoughts on what this song is about let me know your opinions in the comment section down now the way he wrote this song to be about mental health is just incredible he didn't make it like you would think that topic would be about let me explain when you think oh somebody's going to write a song about depression or being isolated you think it's going to be a slower song and it is going to hit you deep but this song has a more poppier rock sound that kind of distracts you a little bit from those feelings masks you from that rainbow in the dark the lyrics are profound, they are relevant, they're relatable, making it timeless. They're classic, they're expressive, they're art. I mean, that's music. The music itself, his vocals, they're unbelievable. I mean, I forgot to talk about it when we were talking about the other song, but Ronnie J Dio, his vocals are unbelievable they're unique there is just a beauty there they're incredible the riff here is catchy and just a type of riff that when you hear it you know what it is i also love the change with the drums to the solo i did take a look and uh, that solo was vivian damn viv that was incredible Wow. Uh, the melody was catchy as well. That's it. That, that's it. <laughs> Let me know your opinions on these two songs. They were just, I cannot believe I've been without these two bands or this, or uh, this guy and his bands uh, like this because uh, it's incredible. Um, yeah, so again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you stay safe and well thank you guys so much for watching stay safe and well and i will see you in the next one